Hello, all. I'm Zach McVeigh, and I'm presenting my research on land use impacts on dynamic sediment connectivity across an urbanizing region. Doing my research alongside with Dr. Husich and our two collaborators, Alexander Michalek and Dr. Tyler Mahoney. In brief, sediment Sediment connectivity is a transfer of sediment between landscape components as a function of structural and dynamic watershed attributes. That's basically the lay of the land and responses from when it rains. Um, recently, connectivity theory has been defined as the intersecting probabilities of hydrologic and geomorphic processes such as sediment supply, erosion, sediment detachment, and transport and disconnectivity. As our natural and rural lands are urbanized to facilitate population growth, the impact of urbanization and sediment connectivity is unclear. The objective of our study is to apply the probability of sediment connectivity to assess how changes in land use, such as urbanization, alters the probability of sediment connectivity. The way that we will achieve these research objectives is first, we will uh, create a physically based hy hydrologic model to model the dynamic watershed response for sediment connectivity. Then we'll apply the probability of sediment connectivity to the soil water assessment tool to our five watersheds with different degrees of urban land use. Then we'll assess the impact of urbanization on sediment connectivity. For our study sites, we have five watersheds with similar geomorphic processes and attributes, but with differing land use, with Blue River being the least urban then to Kill Creek, Cedar Creek, Mill Creek, with our most urbanized watershed, Indian Creek. Uh, so in brief, what the probability connectivity is, the probability of sediment supply indicates areas that are prone to be eroded. And then we have the intersecting probability for sediment det detachments, which denotes if there's enough runoff to provide enough shear to detach the exposed sediment. Then we have the probability of upstream and downstream transports, which indicates if there's enough energy to transport the Dutch detached sediment based off of slope and soil moisture, the respective area. And then we have the probability of buffers, which indicates is their sediment discontinuity. Um, however, due to time constraints, we did not consider uh, probability of buffers. And then for our hydrologic model results, um, all of our models did really well with capturing the observed um, stream flow at the, at the watershed outlets. They're cut off for a water for a hydrologic model to be considered satisfactory is a KGE of negative 0.44. And our lowest value for KGE was 0.47 uh, for Cedar Creek. So all of our models did really well. And for sediment connectivity, uh, when you apply the sediment connectivity to our five watersheds, we find that Areas in our like more urbanized watersheds, such as like Indian Creek, find that areas that are more highly likely to be eroded are along like roadside ditches and stream banks. Stream banks in urban areas really need attention for like erosion remediation. And then in our agricultural heavier watersheds, uh, steep hill slopes and agricultural fields are prone to erosion, and they also need a great deal of attention. So how is this impacted by urbanization? One of our key findings was that the more urbanized a watershed is, the less connected the watershed is on like the wettest day with uh, Indian Creek being 28% connected and our most, our least urbanized watershed, Blue River being 51% connected. And this is due to the um, decreased sediment supply with pay services. Then on the other hand, on the median day, our more urban watersheds are more connected with 0.7 cents compared to 0.4% for the more rural watersheds. And this is due to the artificial drainage networks in our more rural or urban watersheds. The more rural watersheds have vegetation that causes disconnectivity, so there's less connected on the median day. So in conclusion, as our environment continues to urbanize, it is of the most importance to consider how our more urban areas are more connected on the median day and what that means for soil erosion, and then the implications for how our more like agricultural heavy watersheds are far more connected on like the most wet day, which would have extreme consequences for that pulse response. And yeah, thanks for your time. Bye.